If you're lucky enough to have a personal finance class in high school or college, you may know the basics of banking, budgeting, and paying bills. But not everyone is so lucky. So to help you get started, this video is going to provide a quick intro to help improve your financial literacy. The first step to successfully managing your finances is creating a budget. Write down all the money that goes in or out of your possession all your sources of income like paychecks from a job, then everything you spend money on like rent, utilities, groceries, gas, subscriptions, insurance, savings, and money for fun things. Add these up for a typical month or week and compare. If you have more money going out than coming in, you might have to cut back somewhere. If you have extra money left over after your expenses, you could put more money into your savings or another category. If you're looking for more help creating a budget, we have a College Express budget spreadsheet template for students to help you get started. The link for that spreadsheet is in the description below. There are several benefits to having a credit card, but also some serious drawbacks to consider before getting one. The pros are, with a credit card, charges that you know you didn't make are much more easily disputable so you're more easily protected than a debit card. Also, having a credit card can help you build your credit, which you'll need if you want to apply for a loan or mortgage in the future. The cons are, if you use a credit card but don't pay it off, you can rack up interest, which means you're paying more money on the bill than you originally spent. Also, there are a lot of different options when it comes to credit cards, so make sure you're looking for low interest rates, no annual fees, and points are perks like cashback. We have a ton of articles to help you learn more about credit on College Express. Check out Understanding the Dangers and Benefits of Credit Cards, Why Does My Credit Score Matter, and Five Ways to Increase Your Credit Score Before Graduation. All these articles are linked in the description below. When you have a job, taxes will be taken out of your income throughout the year. Doing your taxes is taking information from a form called a W-2, putting it on a different form for both federal and state taxes, and sending it to the government. If you paid too much money in taxes throughout the year, you'll receive a tax refund. If not enough money was taken out of your paychecks, then you'll have to pay that amount to the government. Only students who are single and have earned more than the IRS minimum, which in 2021 was $12,550, need to file a tax return. We recently posted a new Ask the Experts article on College Express from travel and credit card expert Ben Walker explaining what students should know about taxes. So make sure to check that out for more information. The link to the article is in the description. We hope you found this quick intro into finances helpful. You can learn more about money and ways to pay for college in the financial aid section of College Express. If you did like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more College Express videos. Thanks for watching.